all right good day guys welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer all right and in this tutorial i want to show you how to design a cantilever slab the design of a cantilever slab can be as direct and simple as possible but you have to be informed of several steps required in doing that process appropriately all right so i have a question here and this particular question was actually sent to me by one of our followers on how to design a cantilever slab so i'll be taking the introductory part of the design process in this video all right so if you are new to my channel i like that you use the subscribe button and you like this video share with your friends that you get better with structural engineering and that way we'll be good together right in, sh in a short while let us just see how we can get about to obtain a moment on this cantilever slab right so a cantilever slab is such as represented right here in this figure right which is fixed on this end is fixed on this end and free on the other end right so there'll be a moment that will be generated right on this fixed support all right so how do we approach this how do we get a better result um, in our designs we have a question here that says design a cantilever slab of length 1615 millimeters which is 1.615 millimeters and meters used for hotel this information is for occupancy the hotel is for occupancy which in turn would give us um, insight into the life load factors or um, life load values because it's a function of occupancy also right and um, looking into chapter 8 of Reynolds reinforced concrete designers um, handbook you'll be able to find the different life loads factors for different occupancies all right and this like you're seeing on my screen is Reynolds um, manual chapter 8 for impost load and you can see for our hotels you you find that we have we have 2.0 for the bedroom in hotels and motels hospital wards toilet areas for uniformly distributed load we have 2.0 for concentrated load we have 1.8 and what we need here in this place is the uniformly distributed load so we apply we just pick up from there 2.0 kilonewton per meter square all right so that's that's simple enough and uh, we just want to go ahead now in obtaining our moments but before we can obtain our moments we want to do our loading safely and be sure that um all that we engage further is correct because when your loading is not correct apparently every other thing goes wrong so loadings right so the first thing to do to know is the slab on weight what exactly is your weight of the slab now for this slab we want to assume a 150 mm slab thickness slab thickness so we have 0 0.15 multiplied by 24 which would give us 3.6 kilonewton per meter square per meter run we know that already or let me just take this off then would we'll, would we'll fix it after all now we have for the second for the second part we'll have the additional loads which has been given already the additional load can be as a function of the finishes and partitions so we just want to have the additional loads additional loads which is going to be 3 kilonewton per meter as this um, per meter square as we have it already per meter square so the total load that we have as the dead load here 
is going to be 6.6 .6 kilonewton per meter square per meter run now to obtain the ultimate design load we use the relation that we all know to be that for the ultimate design load 1.4 gk plus 1.6 qk so that will give 1.4 multiplied by this that we already know 6.6 .6 plus 1.6 and the life load obtained as shown formally all right so doing this we'll have 12.44 kilonewton per meter now all right so here instead of 6.6 .6, which is um, the dead load would have 11 point or 12.44 as we have rightly calculated 12.44 all right so we can now obtain our moment which is this to obtain the moment at that point using the relation w l square over 2 plus p l all right so this if probably done we have 12.44 multiply by 1.615 squared all over 2 plus p which is 9.8 multiply by the length 1.615 all right so if this is rightly done the result of our moment should give 32.05 kilonewton meter so that is the value of the moment at this point 32.05 kilonewton meter all right so this is how we obtain the moment at that fixed point and now in the next tutorial i'll be showing to you how we apply this moment in uh, deriving the area of steel that will be sufficient enough to support um, this cantilever structure as you, you have seen at that point and how to check for your deflection and um, some other design checks right so you want to hang around in the next tutorial where i bring to you all of these things if you have not subscribed to this channel i encourage that you use the subscribe button and like this video share with your friends that should get better in structural engineering until we meet in the next video i am joshua the designer bye